Hi guys, welcome to the channel. As the title of the video suggests, this is an Arduino beginners tutorial. This video is helpful for people who are just getting started with Arduino and who have no knowledge of Arduino IDE or Arduino Uno. You can find the list of topics covered in this tutorial in the description below. So let's get started with the uh, tutorial guys. First, let's download the Arduino IDE. To download the Arduino IDE, go to Software and click on Downloads. Now scroll down and select Arduino IDE according to your OS. In the next page, you can either donate and download or just download the software. Once the download is complete, extract the file from the zip folder. Now open the extracted folder and click on Arduino.exe file, which should open the Arduino IDE. Let's get started with our first sketch with Arduino Uno. First, connect the Arduino Uno to a laptop or a desktop and then open your Arduino IDE. After opening the IDE, go to Tools and then go to Board and select Arduino Uno. Next, go to the Port option and select your COM port. Next, let's upload the example sketch which comes along with the Arduino IDE. To upload the example sketch, go to Files and select Basics and then select Blink Sketch. Now to upload the sketch, first click on Verify. This will compile the sketch. And then click on Upload button to upload your sketch to Arduino Uno. Now if your upload is successful, you can see TX and RX LEDs rapidly flashing. As you can see, our sketch is successfully executed since the L LED is blinking. Now let's see how to connect external components with Arduino Uno. Take a breadboard and mount 220 ohm resistor. Next mount the LED. Next connect two breadboard wires. Now connect the red wire to pin 9 and black wire to ground pin. After making the connection, connect the Arduino Uno to a laptop and open the Arduino IDE. Always make sure that your board and port are correctly selected. Now open the sketch fade which is under examples. After opening the sketch, verify and upload it. Next, let's see how to add libraries. To add libraries, go to Tools and select Manage Libraries, which will open the Library Manager. Under Library Manager, you can find all the libraries which are installed. Or you can find various other libraries for various other applications, which you can install. If you find any libraries which are not installed, just click the install button to install it. Once the installation is complete, close the library manager and relaunch the Arduino IDE. Next, let's see how to install libraries from an external source. First, download the libraries from an trusted external source like GitHub. 
Next, copy the zip folder and move it to a different folder so that you don't accidentally delete it. This is optional. Now go to your Arduino IDE and go to Sketch and select Add Zip Library and select the zip folder which you downloaded. If the library was uploaded successfully, you will get a confirmation. And you can also find the added library under Include Library which is under Sketch. Next, let's see how to access the built-in serial monitor. To explain this, I have connected a trimmer to the Arduino and then uploaded the example sketch analog read serial which is under examples. Now to open the serial monitor, go to tools and click on serial monitor. As you can see, when I adjust the trimmer, the value changes in the serial monitor. Next, let's see how to generate X file for simulation. First, create a sketch and then save the sketch inside a folder. For this, I am using a built-in Blink sketch. Next, compile the sketch. After that, go to Sketch and click on Export Compiled Binary to export the X file. Next, open any simulation software like Proteus which supports Arduino and create the circuit according to your sketch. Now if I run this circuit this will give an error as the X file is not linked to it. To link the X file double click on the controller chip. Next click the browse icon next to the program file and select the standard X file which you generated and then click OK. Now if you run the simulation, you will get the output. Next let's see how to reset the Arduino. To show this, I am using a simple LCD connection. As you can see, there is a timer running. To reset this timer, you need to click the reset push button. So that completes the beginner's Arduino tutorial guys. For a detailed sketch explanation uh, which was used in this uh, tutorial, you can visit my website. The link is shared in the description. In the next video, let's see a few sketches which will help create bigger applications. Thank you for watching guys. Please stay safe and stay healthy. See you in the next video.